Um, and I press the mission really and quickly if we want to avoid it. Where's the rest of your uniform, Mr. Secretary? I don't think that matters at this moment right now, Madam President. No, it doesn't. No one bit. Just curious. Look, I was on vacation with my daughters in Lake Michigan when I received the call. When the boys arrived, I didn't have enough time to put my pants in the helicopter. Not to be rude, especially at this time. But I can smell the lake water on you, and you hovering over me for the past seven hours doesn't help at all, and I'm starting to feel like I'm Lake Michigan myself. Madam President, you have a call outside. It's your husband. Nothing happens while I'm gone. Understood. the situation. Let's just say that I'm gonna be in the history books when this is over. Oh my, I just called to let you know that the kids and I are safe and so are your parents. We're all wondering what was going on. I'll let you know. Mm, right now it's not the best time. Ain't that bad, huh? I understand. Just know that I support you with all my strength. Thanks. I'll do my best. Trust me. I do trust you, and so do 70% of the people in this country. Now go back there and earn the other 30% of trust. Piece by piece. I love you. Peace. See you soon. Peace. 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 That's the only solution. No more fighting, but instead educating those who don't know any better. That way we'll understand ourselves and why we're all angry. Books. Not bombs, right? Such a simple theory, but these politicians make it look so complicated. We'll change that. We'll just start to leave. We'll do so responsibly. So what do you think of the view in DC? It's even better with you being here. I'll always be by your side. Now you better get used to the city. If I ever become so unimportant, I'll make sure to leave the right way. I got this other money. Just someone important? Think you got what it takes to be to be at the highest level? Think you got what it takes to someday be the greatest leader to ever live, Madam President? President, 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 President. Madam President, they're asking for you inside. Information extraction team, how would you discover the origin of the threat? Is it out of Moscow? No, it's too heavily coded, but we might have figured out that it's from Russia. Only a high up official can actually send that out. Kemi and origin, oh, now. Nice. Have we been contacted by Moscow? Nothing at all, ma'am. We haven't even tried contacting them either, right? The threat specifically stated that any attempt to contact Moscow would not be tolerated. Okay, keep the lines open. Let's hope that they contact us soon. Will do. What are our best strategic targets right now? Look, we've got them pointed at every major city in this entire damn high school. They won't know before it hits theirs. Okay, this is our last resort. Try to minimize the targets and maintain efficiency. Look, how about we do this? We have our new untraceable missile technology. We send one straight to the heart of Moscow, into their main power plant, they'll think it was a malfunction. We'll be nowhere when your this happens, and the message will be secretly sent. Look, you need to think about all the innocent people, all the cash- We're getting reports of missile preparation. We have to act now. <sighs> Looks like we're out of time, Madam President. Looks like you have to make the call. Prepare the nuclear weapon.
Prepare the nuclear weapon. Bomb is ready. It's all you, Madam President. It's in your hands now. Missile reaching target. Five, four, three, two. Target destroyed. Well, ladies and gentlemen, congratulations. Ma'am, I'm receiving information about the threat. It's not coming from the Russian satellite. It's coming from our turf. It's coming from Lake Michigan. What I've done is for the United States of America. You value your country? That's what I hate about people like you. You say that you value your country, but you hate upon all the immigrants that make it all together. You say you value your country, but you pollute it and burn it to the ground. That's, I don't believe you value your country. I value something. I value life. I value my life and all of life. But now here you stand, being the most murderous person on earth because of you. Wait, I for my country. I aim for my country!